Hey everyone, haven't done an update on the river tank in a while. Um, I've done a lot of updates on the Oyster Reef Aquarium and it's looking great. Um, but I have a couple new additions in my, um, as far as uh, fish that I've collected recently, they've gone through the quarantine process and I've added them to the river tank. So I'm excited. Um, they're not species new to the tank, but um, kind of spe a, a few fish that I've replenished my supply of. Uh, I had some satin fin shiners in here that passed away of old age, so I added four new, two male and two female of them, um, and I added a couple more tessellated darters. So I'm, I'm good on darters. I have um, a good many rainbow darters. I think I have four greenside darters and three or four uh, fantail darters and a, um, I think three or four tessellated darters. Uh, but so I'm excited to have the, the vibrant colors and the activity of the, the satin fins. They haven't been fed yet, so uh, I guess I'll do a shot of them feeding and then we'll watch them forage. Uh, may, I might do some, a little pre-feeding shot just to show you what, you know, they know I'm here. So they're, they're all out in front waiting for me to feed them. Okay, um, since I haven't fed them yet and all the fish are out front ready to eat uh, before I feed them and they all go into hiding, let's go through the tank and discuss the species. Um, my largest fish in the tank is this common shiner. This is uh, the common shiner, the one with the stripes, the large one. Beautiful tail, beautiful finnage. finnage. Unfortunately for the camera, he's trailing a long poop, um, showing that he eats a lot of algae. The next largest fish in here are the stone rollers. I have two central stone rollers. Here's one of them. This is the big one. And then we'll come over here and here's the small one. They're both pretty good size. Um, the next largest fish, um, I thought this might be a spot fin. Um, it had some white tips to its fins earlier, um, but I haven't been able to identify it exactly. It's either a satin fin or a spot fin. But I had satin fin females in here. Here's one here. And here's a male satin fin shiner. And look how colored up they are. That's one of the males. Um, there's another one in here. He's on this side of the tank. He's a little bit smaller. But just because of the way that this one I know is a male fish because it had white tip fins about three months ago. Now it doesn't seem to be all interested in the satin fins that are in here. So uh, the females, for example, it hasn't colored up. It doesn't have its breeding color. So I, I'm thinking it might be a spot fin, although they know, they're know they known to interbreed. So I'm not sure what's going on with that fish. All right, the next most common ones in here. Um, Let's focus on the ones that are kind of shark-like. Um, they're uh, long-nosed dace. Um, they like to play in the current and hang around. There's a power head down in there. And uh, they're out looking for something to eat. They're hard to film because they're, but they, they kind of, uh, here's one right there. They're really fast. So bear with me on them. Um, and then the black-nosed dace. Um, let's see, I, there's a pretty large fem large black nosed dace right here. This is a large male, actually. Um, it's got orange on its fins, but you can see how big that fish is in relation to my, well, the camera makes my finger look huge, but then the ones with the red and yellow, the yellow fins with red on their bodies, those are mountain red belly dace. Um, let's see, are there any, uh, other minnows in here, shiners and days that I haven't discussed? I think that might be it as far as the different species go. All right, here's a pair of rainbow darters. That's a male and female sitting right there. I have several of them. The males are the most colorful. They're beautiful. Um, 
Let's see if we can find a, uh, all right, here's a green side dorter. And right next to him is a tessellated dorter. There's a, a green side and a tessellated peeking over the rock right there in the center of the tank. That's a tessellated. And a green side in the front there. Um, the fantails will, I don't see that they're out right now. So uh, there's a fantail in the back here. Yep, he just scooted off when I moved the camera up. Let's see if I can get him to reveal himself. That's a small one. There's a big one, a couple big ones in here. Uh, but that's that's a, a fantail darter back there. So that's the four species of darters in the tank. So we've covered the um, the different species. Um, here's the a good shot of um, long nosed ace playing in the current. Um, I'm going to take a step back and we'll do a full tank shot and then I'll feed them. All right, there's a full tank shot uh, showing all the hungry fish. Um, I'm going to uh, go get some food ready and then we'll come back and, uh, and feed them. Um, basically what I do is I'll melt some frozen food. I'll start off with some fiber bites. Then I melt some frozen food and I use turkey basters to make sure all the fish get food. I squirt a lot of it down towards the bottom. The darters will pig out. That's why they're all fat and healthy. It's, it's all a, the way to keep these fish and these river fish, especially if you want the darters healthy, is to uh, get that food down to the bottom where they can access it. And then um, the other fish will find food. You, know, I'm not, you never have to worry about them. Um, I'm amazed already about how these satin fin shiners have colored up, so uh, that's really pretty. We'll get a closer look at them uh, towards the end of the video. All right, we're going to start off with some fiber bites. Um, this dry food is one that most of the darters eat. Even some of the, I even got some of the rainbow darters eating it. They were the one holdout. Most of them will only eat frozen food or live food. Um, But as you can see, if you use a turkey baster, you can make sure that food gets down to the bottom and all the, all the darters will at least get a little bit to eat. And the, the shiners and dace and minnows will um, eat everything else. So, all right, the next round of food is going to be frozen food. Um, I have to give that a little bit of time for them to melt, for the food to melt. Um, and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna feed the oyster reef tank. So we'll be back in a little bit. All right, next up is frozen food. This is a mix of frozen mice shrimp and frozen bloodworms. First, to make sure the minnows are occupied with the first squirt. Then I can get the rest down at the bottom, to the bottom. And the darters will get plenty of food this way. all the food they get so we're gonna watch them feed for a few minutes move right forward as you can see better all right 
right, so this guy is the male satin fin. These really, the ones with the uh, really bright white and bluish, greenish fins. Uh, they're just so colorful and active. I've got two males in here. I think that's all I want. I've, I have four females in that big spot fin, or I don't know if that's a satin fin or what. So we'll see if that other one colors up and we'll try to identify them. I might have to pull it out and put it into a photo box and uh, see if I can count the fin rays. That's how you tell them apart. Um, but we'll just watch them feed for a little bit. All right, well, that's it for the update. This is the Potomac River drainage biotope aquarium. And uh, thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll look forward to the next exciting news in this tank soon. Um, I'll do another update. I'm gonna prune some plants back and improve the aquascaping a little bit to make this more appealing. But until then, I hope you have a nice week.